E equals MC cup. <laughs> uh, I have to concentrate. Still too sexy. Listen, I have great news. As the only intelligent living male Bundy, I'm proud to announce that I have gotten a scholarship and I'm going to junior college. And uh, just how does that pertain to the baby? <laughs> Thank you. So I decided to start college across town instead of in this neighborhood where I seem to have been accused of being a total social failure. Aw, don't be so hard on yourself, bud. I mean, I'm sure lots of cool guys spend their Friday nights watching Star Trek reruns, hoping to catch a glimpse of Klingon cleavage. <laughs> Let the record show that I was wetting the screen with my tongue to clean it. <laughs> to continue, chicks love new blood, so I'm assuming a whole new identity. As of now, my story is I'm a bad boy rapper from the streets of New York. <laughs> Goodbye, Bud Bundy. Hello, Grandmaster B. What does the B stand for? Brother of an idiot. Yeah! <laughs> Anyhow, if anyone asks, my parents sent me out here to clean up my act because I either killed a guy or spray painted a tree or a bum or something. Uh, excuse me, but isn't that the plot for the Fresh Prince of Bel Air? Well, that's an NBC show, so who would know that? <laughs> If anyone asks, I'm not related to any of you. And I'm coolly dangerous. <laughs> I am not going to be dateless this year. Now, if you're finished, bud, uh, we will... B. Just yesterday, he was in diapers. <laughs> Literally. I killed a man in New York, you know. Oh, forgive me, Ghostbuster B. <laughs> <sighs> What's the matter, Kelly? Is your bed closed for repairs? Uh, is this the right number? My name is Esther, and I thought I was calling the Virgin Hotline. Really? This is a real call. Uh, yeah, you're on the Virgin Hotline. Well, I've been trying to wait till marriage, but everywhere you look is sex, sex, sex. Uh, well, uh, where exactly are you? <laughs> Home, watching TV. Oh, God, they're doing a Bugle Boy jeans commercial. Oh, oh you're losing her, Mr. Bundy. Quick, do a TV talk down. TV talk down? Okay, Esther, now listen to me. We're gonna have to take your mind off of sex. Now, now think of the guy from the Zima commercials. I can't. Now Melrose Place is coming on. <gasps> Billy's taking his shirt off. Mr. Bundy, we have a code red. We're going to have to act fast. I'll keep her talking. You go to her house. Say what? Don't argue. Take your handbook and your never had it, never will virgin hotline cap. <laughs> Take my car. I'll call with the address. And Bud, you have a really cute tush. <laughs> yeah, I know. Pretty low, huh? Okay, watch me hit rock bottom.
Well, now for the finishing touch. A little love bite for my woman. <laughs> Oh, here we go. I could. My babe couldn't. <laughs> Easy there, Froggy. Go slow. Show her what you've learned. And above all, respect her. <laughs> Smooth move, Gilligan. I can't stand your bumbling any longer. Look, let's face it. Your body isn't big enough for the both of us. Papa? Uh, uh, do you need someone to talk to? Uh, pull him off me! He's taking over! Uh, pull him off me! Well, I don't know, honey. Uh, he's really, really big. Um, I better just go get your daddy to help me. You hold him there, I'll be right back. Oh. Oh. Hi, bud. How you doing? I'm cool. It's cool. Everything's cool. Now. Uh, bud. You know, it's never too late to take vitamins. Oh, I had my Pez this morning, Mom. Honey, <laughs> about that Pez. Crystal, I don't talk about my brother much. <laughs> but, well, uh, Judd and I, uh, <laughs> we, were, we were born Siamese twins. <laughs> We shared everything, but we had to. And then, then came that awful day when we, we had to go our separate ways. And I went to school and, and Judd went into a mason jar. We don't expect him to live very long. I mean, he's not much more than a, an eye and a foot and some hair. But you see, I made him this solemn promise that I would make him a calendar of the best damn good-looking girls at Tremaine. So, Crystal, if, if you can't do this for me, just, just do it for that little, little lost boy in the mason jar. <laughs> what do you say? Okay. <laughs> Your first sleepover date. Man, with a girl, too. Unless it's one of those crying game kind of things. How did you guys know Ariel was here? Well, for once, the cries of, oh, bud, oh, bud, wasn't just you throwing your voice. <laughs> Piglet, I've been paging you for over an hour. Why didn't you call me back? Well, I, uh... I turned off the beeper. <gasps> How dare you! But you're grounded! <laughs> what is it, Piglet? Uh, you know, we've had some great times together, mm -hmm. and I appreciate everything you've done for me. And to me. <laughs> I think we should just be friends. Do not listen to him! Wait a minute. You're dumping me? 
Without me, you will spend the rest of your life in this hellhole. No offense. Oh, none taken. Shall we have dinner? <laughs> I can get out of this hellhole on my own. I don't need to be anybody's boy toy. I'm gonna make it on brains and talent. Oh, Pig, we're never gonna get rid of him now! <laughs> Go ahead, Scott. At least I've got my dignity. Do him. And when you're done, BB, do yourself. Can do, boss. Wait, 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 wait. Look, look, Mr. Capone. Please, look. I can understand you wanting to kill us, but please spare my sister. She's, she's harmless. I mean, she could never identify you. She can't even grasp the concept of up and down. Down yours, bud. Sorry, kid. But as they say in Hollywood, you'll never work in this town again. Or any town. Holy Capone! Police! <laughs> Put your guns down and your hands against the wall. Frisk them, Farrah. You got it, Kate. Come on, Jacqueline. What? Where could you have possibly concealed those weapons? I mean, I touched you all over. <laughs> we know. That's why you're going to jail. Soon, you too will be touched all over. <laughs> oh, wait! Okay. No! No! Ah!